this is a golden icy transmitted line from the letter of the battle. Let's get a huge warm more welcome to our possibility. How are you seeing? Hi, handsome. You want some company? Come on, sweetheart. Two bucks a stock. Three a fuck and say hello to paradise. I just want to share some heat with you. It's a cold night. About some money. I'm sure you got some money. Come on, man. I need the money. Talk to me, man. Give me your money. Well, I hope the station can get some tickets for free. This is what Brianna already wants about. Let's go to the music. Yes, right out from our computer. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce, Bruce Bailey. Bailey. What does this mean, Mr. Bailey? Does this mean you're finished? Of course not. It's just a bad day. Did you get the address? You're worrying us, Bailey. We can't let this happen again. What are you gonna do, fire me? Come on, guys, we're not gonna blow this kick. Oh, you're blowing in, Mr. Bailey. Look, we know you've had problems with your act, but this is the There's first nothing time. wrong with me. Give me the address. We didn't get it. What do you mean you didn't get it? That's what we came to New York for. I have to see her. Do you need a woman, Bailey? I can get you one. I don't need a woman. I need that address. Come on, Bailey. There's no way to get an address here. The computer systems are all screwed up. There's no listings, no information, no way of finding anybody. You're lying to me. I'm not, Bailey. Yes, you are. I'm going to call the police right now. They'll know. Don't call them. You won't be able to see her anyway. Why not? Because she doesn't want to see you. We contacted her. We, we explained the situation to her. And, well, she doesn't care. Legally, Just give me the right. address, and I'll take a day off. That's but... impossible, Bailey. The city's very dangerous. This area is even worse. No one would take you there. It's my city. You give me the address, I'll know how to get there safely. No, Mr. Bailey. You're not on the verge of signing a lifetime contract with us. We can't risk losing you. You wouldn't exist if it were for me. I know. And we'll do everything to keep on existing. It's my life. We have to protect you and your act more than ever. This is not the simple renegotiation of terms. This will make us partners for life. The hottest act and the hottest agency in the world. You wouldn't throw a diamond on a New York street now, would you, Mr. Bailey? I'm not a diamond, damn it. You're worth much more than that. People pay much more to see what you can do than they'd ever pay to see a jewel. Relax, Mr. Bailey. You got 10 more shows to do in New York. They're all sold out. People are killing to see you act. He means that literally. They need you. You need me. Well, that's true, but you need us. So that makes it even. OK, cheer up. The press boys are here. What sort of trouble are you having with your act? Uh, I heard something was wrong. No, no problems. So what do you think about this lifetime contract? People, please, I need to be alone. Please, I 
that guy they advertise in the newspaper? No, I'm not. I'm positive you are, sir. I read every newspaper I can find. I must have seen your face a thousand times. You're wrong. Everybody looks the same in the newspaper. No, no, not you, sir. You're different. I can see it in the newspapers, and I can see it now. You are the contortionist. Leave me alone. You don't know what you're talking about. Sir, do your act for me. What? I admire you, sir. I just don't have the money to pay to see you on the stage. Do your act for me. Leave I me. need to see your act. Leave me alone. Your act, damn it! Show me your act or I'll kill you. You listen to me. If you hurt me, you won't be able to get away with it. There's somebody else on this trip. Please don't hurt me. Take whatever you want, money. I don't want your damn thing, sir. I want to see your act. Right there. Who's that? 
Don't try anything. I'm pointing a gun at you. Lena? Get out of here. Lena, it, it's me, Bruce. Did you hear me? Lena, please, I have to see you. I came to New York, I especially... don't care what you came to. Get out. Lena, please, don't do this to me. I need to see you. You wouldn't like seeing me, Bruce. People change over the years. I don't care. I've been thinking about you all these Stop. years. Stop! What do you want, Bruce? Is that all you can say? What do you want? I haven't seen you for 10 years, and you don't care to know what's happened to me? I know everything about you. It's in every newspaper. Forget the newspapers. I'm talking about me, the person you used to love. <laughs> you still make me laugh. <laughs> Tell me, what do you want? lost it. I can't do it anymore. Then quit. You made enough money anyway, that's all you ever wanted? I can't quit. My whole life depends on it. I'd be nothing without it. You're the only other person who knows how to do it. Please help me. I'll give you anything you want. What am I supposed to do? Give you lessons? No one can teach you how to be a freak of nature. And besides, all you can give me is money, and that's not what I want. What do you want? I, I can get anything through the company. Nothing. I want nothing. Don't you care about me? After what we meant to each other? I loved you. I still Go do. Go away. Why? Because it's a lie. You don't love me. You only love your act and yourself and that goddamn company you created. No, I don't. I hate them. Is that so? Well, Bruce, maybe there is hope for your act after all. At least you still feel something. No. I don't. I don't care. I just don't care anymore. I don't know when it started. I haven't cared for the company guys for a long time now, but I don't know when. Very slowly, I stopped caring about the audience. I think it was around about the time we started the talks on the lifetime contracts. I don't know. Today I killed someone, Lena, and I felt nothing. And what may be worse, you're right. I don't love you. I don't know what's happened to me, but I have nothing to work with anymore. I need to feel something again in order to do my act. Do you remember television, Bruce? No. Well, barely. You were too young. Nobody talks about it anymore. There's this old guy down the block. That's all he ever talked about. It was fun. They killed him. Well, it seems there were television sets all over the place. People had them in their living rooms, and they watched them. And there was a show called Let's Make a Deal. People went to that show dressed in funny costumes like a, a rat or a cucumber or a piece of cheese. Well, anyway, it seemed funny at the time. And the one with the funniest costume was picked from the audience and given a thousand dollars, old dollars. And he was given a choice. He could take the money or choose something behind a curtain. Nobody knew what it was. Sometimes it was uh, an expensive car, sometimes a sandwich or a cup of coffee. The fact is, more often than not, 
people chose the unknown behind the curtain over the thousand old dollars. They had a lot of fun. People all over the place watched in their living rooms and they had one hell of a time. The place where they made that show is where I live now. Yes, this, this rat infested crap hole is where people got together to do those stupid things. And you asked, what happened to you? Same thing that happened to the rest of the world. You stopped being fun to become a joke. Maybe you can use that to work with and do your act. It's, it's not the real thing, but nobody will notice. And if someone does, who cares? I'll be leaving now. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Bailey. That was fine, Miss Bailey. It was, it was terrific. Really. Well, Bailey, you see, we were right. You could do it. Relax now, Mr. Bailey. And don't forget, tomorrow we signed a new contract. All right? Are you excited? Of course he is. Anybody would be. Right. Good night. How did she do that? What is his stomach or something? Uh, who cares? Mm -hmm. 